Hello Ed, this is Dave Hill at All Sport Systems with a demonstration for you of our Motion View video analysis software. This is the software that you would get in our Nomad coaching systems. Uh, for your information, we have uh, well over 14,000 installations of our Motion View systems and software. It's in uh, all major sports, including uh, baseball and um, hopefully some of these uh, points that I show you will be beneficial. Uh, what you're looking at is the main uh, workspace of Motion View. As you can see, there's a large area at the top for the video content. Uh, playback and pause is controlled as you would expect with the play pause button. You can also just use the space bar on your keyboard to play or pause. We're looking at an HD video image here that was shot at 1280 by 720 resolution in high-speed photography. Let me just bring it up to the uh, beginning of the motion that matters. And I'm going to use function key F1 on the keyboard to mark this position. Matter of fact, let me just go back a little bit before the stride gets started. We'll say this position as the beginning moment that we care about. So F1 very simply identifies this as the earliest point in time you care about. So it's going to be easy for you to find that and uh, you want to be wading through a lot of video uh, searching for the beginning of the swing. Uh, now as I hit the space bar to play the video you can see the slow motion playback. In many respects just the ability to view the video in slow motion is a significant aid to coaches. Uh, also the frame by frame stepping capacity that you have in the software. Now before we get too far, let me bring on the drawing tools. There's a button down here at the bottom right that will expose the drawing tool panel. And I'm just going to use a simple target tool. This is going to give me a vertical and horizontal line that's fixed and uh, perfectly straight and uh, horizontal or vertical. I can use this now to ascertain movement underneath that uh, line. I can also in change the intensity of the drawing as you can see here with this slider bar. You might want to have that positioned over the the player's head for instance or maybe at the base of his neck to see how well his rotation is around the um, spine access, axis. Here we come into the actual movement of the swing and you can see um, you know, you're the coach so you can tell me what you see as far as this. Now I'm going to use the control left arrow key to reverse the playback. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just typing control and then the left arrow key on the keyboard. Every time I do that, it reverses the direction of playback, allowing me to really kind of focus down on small areas of the movement, as you can see there. There's a lot of tools like this. I'm only going to show you some of the main ones to help you with your evaluation. Of course, we also have lines, angle measurements, and so forth. So you can drop an angle tool on here, quickly get measurements in degrees and fractions and so forth. Uh, so all of the drawing tools that you would expect in any world-class video software you're going to find here in Motion View. Motion View is also capable of up to eight slots. So you bring in an additional slot down here, the numbers two, three, four through eight. Each one of these represent an additional location for video. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, open up slot two, let's say, and, and you'll notice that I can bring in a different video just by dragging it over here from the thumbnail and dropping it off. Now in order to synchronize these two clips together all I need to do is use the main slider bar to put the first video in a certain position. It could be any position during the swing but we find that impact with the ball seems to be a great point. And then I'm just going to use the slider here underneath video 2 to put that video in the same position. Having done that now the main slider bar will keep these two athletes in lockstep with one another throughout the course of the swing. So for comparing two dissimilar videos or the same athlete on multiple days, you know, different days, uh, lots of tools to make that easy for you to do. You have up to eight slots that you can use with this feature. Uh, let me just bring up this black and white one as an example of another interesting tool. This is called the 1x8. So it's a little button right here. I've just pressed it one by eight. The software is now opening the video eight times as you can see here and each one of these frames is spaced forward in time by one frame. So you can see here this is kind of like the film strip digest of the swing. The nice thing about this is it's all still video so you can move through it uh, with the slider bar and focus your attention on any particular area of the swing. If you wanted to see the entire motion of the swing in these eight panels, 
we have an option that allows you to skip frames. So let's say that we skipped three frames. We repress the 1 by 8 button and this will quickly reload now to where we can see pretty much the entire motion of the swing here in just eight positions. And there's a lot of options you can skip further, you know, more or less to your desire. Now in terms of video capture, the camera panel is accessed by hitting the cams button down. Now when you get back onto the main screen, uh, you're going to see the video preview down here on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, there's my face showing for the current live feed. And when we want to record video from the camera, we just hit the record button on the main screen. Uh, you can also press F5 on your keyboard or you can use the wireless remote, which is an option. When you end the recording, the software will automatically launch the file that you captured and put it in slow motion playback. You do not have to press any buttons at all to make that happen. It just automatically goes for you. So of course you're not looking at an actual baseball swing here. You're looking at my ugly mug as I'm giving you this demo. But uh, this is just an example of how the system would operate. Also the blurring that you see in this video simply because I'm using a low end web camera not uh, the type of machine vision camera that you would have for your setup. Okay, So that's video recording. Incidentally, if you record from multiple cameras at the same time, they all capture at the same time and they all open and are automatically synchronized on the playback screen. Nothing for you to do there at all. It just works. In terms of creating video lessons or instructional tutorials for your athletes, well, that's what I'm actually doing at this moment. You notice down here at the bottom right, there's a recording timer that's adding up. This is our instruct button. I press that button in order to start this recording of the screen and everything I'm saying. You would do exactly the same thing, which will record the entire motion view screen, all of your spoken words, whatever you draw and do on the screen, everything. When you're done with your review of the athlete, you simply end that recording which will give you an option to save the file. You can save it as an AVI, a MOV for QuickTime or Apple customers or users, or a simple MP4, which is, will work on any computer, Apple or Windows. There's quite a few other features, of course, available in the software, but hopefully this has given you a good overview of the general content, what it offers. Uh, if I can help you further, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.